So you know what's the most annoying part about syncing videos? Hmm. Is that like if I do something stupid while I sync it, and then you and Hess like, <laughs> look at this little fucking little dingbat. <laughs> I got to hear that 14 times while I, technically we have five camera angles. So I get to hear it five times while I'm editing every single time. One of you guys are like, oh, you bet you have a tiny dick. Have you, when, while you guys have gone grocery shopping at this new place, have you thought about getting pineapples to put one outside just to be like, hey, we're open, do it? No. You, that hasn't crossed your mind at once? No. Wow. Do you believe that? Like, he looks at pineapples differently now at the grocery store. Yeah, store. I don't think he's settled down yet. Uh, once he's settled in the place, that's when, he, that's when he starts thinking about yeah. pineapples. Once he's walking around naked playing Warzone, then he's like, you know what? Let me go get a pineapple. Maybe I'll get a pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to tell us what happened to you the other night? I was. Yeah, I, I got a cold open, baby. Uh, so the other night I was in here like a little boy just, you know, getting ready for bed. I finally dozed off. And then all of a sudden uh? I hear a bunch of fucking gunshots out my window. At first I didn't know what it was. I just heard like pop, pop. And I thought someone was like breaking into their car or something. I just heard some noise. And I was like, what? And I was like half asleep, peeked out my window and then all of a sudden, just like a gang shootout happens or something. They're just pop, 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 out the window. And I was just like frozen because I was like, is this really happening? Am I dreaming? Like, what is going on? And then all of a sudden, I see kids running down the street. And I was like, that was really weird. And I just went back to bed. I didn't really think anything of it. And then all of a sudden, like 10 minutes later, my room's lit up like a rave. And there's just police all over the street. I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. So people are just shooting at each other. And then for some, we don't understand this part. There was a donut on Taylor's car that yeah. we think was from the police. Half-eaten donut. And then there was Sour Patch Kids all over her windshield. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so I don't, we don't know if the police got hungry, and then they're like, oh, fuck, we get us all the crime. I think maybe these kids were fucking with people, and they might have fucked with the wrong person and got shot at. Good, good be. I am, I'm ho- in my mind, I'm hoping it's the same kids that fucked with Hess. Let me ask you this. You hear gunshots. Would you sit up and look out the window? No. Yeah, that's what I well, said. Well, I was like in a di- I was like half asleep and I was like what is going what is this noise outside? What's happening? And it was so loud. And I look out there and then I you just see the street just lighting up. It's funny. It was uh, crazy. At 3:58, Angela woke me up the same morning. Hey, was that gunfire? And I was like, I didn't hear anything. I was asleep. Him, Taylor, and Joey slept through it. I was like, I didn't hear a fucking thing. I could have been murdered in my room, and you guys are like, well, she woke sleeping. me up, and I. So then I always like kind of lean forward to look because she has a clock like next to her, mm-hmm. like because I can't see my phone. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, it's three fifty eight. My alarm set for four, and she's like, sorry. I'm like, oh, it's not your fault if you heard gunfire. Like and I'm thinking, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I get. This up. wasn't another biker situation. It really happened. I swear. So I get up. And I fucking, like, get ready for the gym, grab my water, walk out to my car, which is in the street. Mind you, I have no idea that people just ran down the street shooting. Yeah. And there's two cars pulling up with fucking lights everywhere. And I'm like, ah, oh, it's a fucking cop. So now if there was gunfire, <laughs> now it looks like Nick's I'm the shooter. standing here. <laughs> And I like so I walked like a when, normal. When, were you ca- partly hoping so we'd have a good story on the podcast that you got arrested? Like you walk outside and they're Arrested. like, "Get down, get down, motherfucker!" And they're yelling at you, and you're in handcuffs. And then I get up from my window again and I peek at you. You probably would too, fucker. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, I, "What's funny is I told mom this. Like you went to the gym and then she got trapped here because the cops." Mm-hmm. And I went out there and I told her how I saw everything, and she goes, "Well, should you go out there and talk to the police?" I was like, "No, I don't want to go talk. I'm in my underwear." You could put shorts on. Nah. Like I unlocked my car and I like stood there for a second and I was like. Yeah, fuck it. And I got in my car and drove away. They didn't fucking stop me or anything. So I was like, cool. I went to the gym, came back about 5.30, and everything was gone. Was so that, I was like, is that when you guys saw the donut on Taylor's car? When you left, was there a donut on Taylor's car? I don't know. It was dark. Oh, you can't see, it was well, dark. You can't see, dark you can't see donuts <laughs> in the dark. No, but when I left for work, that's when I saw I go, hey, I text mom, and I was like, hey, there's something on top of Taylor's car. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> it's a bomb. You said a bomb to explode. And then she sent me a picture. It was a donut with a bite out of it. Yeah, it's weird. I told Taylor we should, gra- we should grab it. Drums like those it. fucking pigs. Yeah, fucking pigs left, <laughs> they left a donut on Taylor's car. I almost guarantee you it wasn't from the cops. Well, the funny thing was, is I like that's right by a school bus stop. But there was no school. It was Labor but, Day. But it was Labor Day. So You know what I learned in this whole experience? 
Not to peek out a window when you hear gunshots? No, not that at all. I pick up my window quite a bit. I hear a lot of noises. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I learned with all, because there's so many lights. Come, usually it's like, can I see something? It's really dark. Uh, I guess like you looking for donuts. Um, but my window's dirty. I really got to clean my window. It was. It's just like, it looks like someone smeared mud all over my window. How much do you want to bet you're never going to clean that window? How much do you want to bet I've never cleaned that window? I'm not taking that bet. <laughs> I think there's still green paint around the edges of the window from when we first moved into this place, and this room is green. The fuck did you paint green for? I didn't paint it green. We bought it green. Or uh, you guys bought it green. I wasn't involved in the buying the house process. Uh. <laughs> Welcome back to Random Ramblings. I'm your little daddy boy, Jerome. Little daddy boy? You like your panties. I don't know what that means. I'm Nick. And I'm Hess. And uh, today, my boys and girls, we were talking about good time, but first... We gotta do a Twitter poll and a YouTube poll. Uh, I'll go first since uh, it was my movie. Tell Hess who's winning the YouTube poll from last week. Oh yeah, so technically Nick's movie won last week. Bullshit. We, but it only won like four days after we filmed the podcast, so it doesn't really count. You gotta try this poll. But so we should probably say if you see a poll on 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 here and it's four days later, you could feel free to vote, but it doesn't matter. Right. It only matters the twenty the twenty minutes we put it up there for. Um, but so I I'm picking uh the Rover because we have to pick another Robert Pattinson movie. So I'm picking the Rover starring Robert Pattinson, and I forgot his name. Uh, what, uh, what's the guy from Memento? Uh, guy Pierce. Guy Pierce starring Robert Pattinson and Guy Pierce. It's in like a semi apocalypse world, but like it kind of looks normal because it's an indie movie. But like this, you know, whatever. Mm. And I from what I if I'm understanding it correctly, I think Robert Pattinson in this group. Like attack Guy Pierce and like kidnap his sister or something, and then but he ends up getting like Robert Pattinson, like he's left behind, and then eventually they end up working together because they both need something from the group, and then they go after the group together. Mm. Um, but it looks pretty interesting, and it's supposed to be one of one of like uh, the first kind of A twenty four movies that they're making too. Uh, but it looked interesting, and it's one that I haven't seen before, and it has Guy Pierce. I think Guy Pierce is the actual star. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, okay. Do you want me to go second, or you want to go second? Go for it. I'm picking Lighthouse. Oh, Lighthouse. Okay. You know, give me one second. I got a, I got a button for this. Now, Jerome's seen Lighthouse. Wait, and, I and said hold on, Nicholas. I'm talking to Hess. What would Jerome, Romy, Romy, Rome think? It uh, blows. This is a horrible movie. Probably one of the worst movies I've ever seen, honestly. No way. Really? I, I don't, maybe not one of the worst movies I've ever seen, but it's pretty bad. It's just boring. I don't like, like, the acting in it is really good. They act really good. But it's just then like. Then it's not one of the worst movies you've ever seen. No, Do you remember you, the other podcast we've been doing? Yeah, Jesus. But no, like, I, I to me, it's just as boring as those, though. Like, like I think it's it's on the boring level of Halloween, like three or the one only, of the Friday the Thirteenth. I think the problem is, is the only movies I know with it was now this movie because I'd never seen this movie. Mm-hmm. Tenant and Twilight, and I'm not picking fucking Twilight. Why don't you pick fucking Twilight? I'm not doing it. We could have been like we could have been sparkling for a couple weeks watching Twilights. Not doing it. Uh, did I put? Th- I did write that in there. All right, so Hess, what's your movie? Uh, I, I let Abby pick the movie. Uh, I did not pick the uh, movie. It, it's going to be Twilight or something, isn't it? It's Water for Elephants. Oh, uh, Water for Elephants. Oh, oh, Abby picked it. Abby picked bullshit. it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, whatever. I actually do remember when that movie came out, but I didn't. It's, uh, it's him and Reese Witherspoon. That's all I know. Oh, shit. That might get Taylor's vote. Hess might have stole Taylor's vote from me. I also... I went through his IMDb, and I honestly don't care what we watch because I haven't seen many of his movies. It, to be honest, all his movies. And I was like, I was like, all right, cool, whatever. He, he's good, I believe. In, he's one of my favorite actors. He's good in like everything. Twilight. So it's like that's the fun thing. You know, he's he's good in Twilight because he's like, he's doing all the shit. And then you know, while he's doing it, he's like, this is the fucking dumbest thing in the world. So it's kind of fun that way too. Isn't wasn't she that way too? Uh, I, but I think later on. Okay. I think from the get go, he was like the first movie. He's like, this is the dumbest piece of shit. I, ever heard of mm. uh but all right so the youtube one is out now if you guys want to able vote and then i'm gonna do the twitter one right now i like how jerome uh, capitalized the rover but not our movies ah way to go uh, dick well, fucker. i did that a while ago and i was just typing here oh. i didn't even realize i did that i totally thought you were gonna say i like your panties <laughs> 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 be interesting i don't think we're gonna decide the voting you know, yeah, I don't think we get to pick with the movie, but I'm fine with any of these, really. I mean, I, a lighthouse I think would be an interesting podcast, so I think it'd be fun for here and maybe on a rewatch, maybe I'll love it. But in the in the theaters, it bored me to sleep. 
It's IMDb rating was like seven and a half. No, yeah, well, I, I'm pretty sure we're, me, Taylor, and Retour are the minority for not liking it. Mm. Uh, I don't know anything about it except he watches The Lighthouse or something. It's uh, him and uh, Willem Dafoe are stuck in a lighthouse together. Mm. Do they have sex? I think it's insinu. No, I, I think at one point it's insinuated that like they might, and then nothing. But I can't remember. Mm. It's been so long since I've seen it. I'm gonna have to take a poop here pretty soon. I had <laughs> sucking two bratwurst and baked beans before we did this. Jeez. Jeez. If you would like to poop, me and Nick can do our movie list first. If you need to go poop, I mean, feel free to knock that out of the way. Do you want? Do you want to go poop when we do our list? I'm. I'm. I might have to go poopies. <laughs> All right, you go poop. We'll do our list. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. Well. Uh, Since Hess is pooping, we gotta do our movie list. Uh, I have watched <laughs> 300 movies so far this year. 300 new ones, you know, that doesn't count doubles. Oh, yeah. If it was doubles, I think it'd be like at 350, 325 or something. Do you think it'd be that high? 325, maybe. I think more 325. Oh, those Nightmare on Elm Streets. Yeah, that's definitely gonna fucking kick it up there. It's annoying. Uh, yeah, I'm at 307. I figured you'd be a little higher than me. Uh, I ended in Ragman last time, right? Mm, sounds familiar. Actually, no, I didn't because I watched Willy's Wonderland right after the podcast. Uh, I watched Willy's Wonderland with Nicolas Cage. It's him like stuck at Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, I remember you saying it. That is, it's such a weird movie, and it, it takes a little bit of time to like get into it, and it's a, like like just fucking get him to the place and let's get this going. Oh yeah. Uh, but it's pretty funny, like the way they 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 do things in kind of parodies. Like like they, he gets stuck in there, and it's like an ancient curse in the town, and they're like they trick him to go there and it's a whole plot point thing mm-hmm. but the guy's like make it's important to take breaks so then he'll be like in the middle of like murdering one of the dolls that we come into life or something mm-hmm. and he'll watch it like dee, 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 and he'll like chug down an energy drink and then he goes in and he starts playing pinball or whatever he's playing on the machine and he'll just stop and then these kids break in so like the kids will get stuck and he'll be like defending the kids mm-hmm. and go take a break or something oh really so there's like an improv dance he does at one point while he's playing pinball it's really weird mm-hmm. but it's it's a pretty fun movie i liked it it was on it's on uh am or AMC Plus, so we all watch it on Amazon, I think, or yeah. Hulu, one or the other, I don't remember. Amazon, probably. Uh, but that, I watched Shang-Chi, saw that in theaters, I really liked that. Yeah, that was really it's good. saving the cinemas right now. It got Venom pushed forward a week, I think, and now Spider-Man won't get delayed and all that. It was it was different, too. Like it was. Oh, yeah, I really liked the way they did the fighting in that. I think it'd be really cool to see him in a team-up movie, and like everyone's fighting their normal style, and then you kind of cut to him doing that stuff. I, yeah. think be, I think it'd be really fun. Uh, I watched Evil Dead. The remake, Paranormal Activity 4, Good Time, did it for the podcast, Disturbia, and High Life, which High Life is a Robert Pattinson movie. I was, I've been wanting to, I've been waiting to watch it because I wanted to watch it on here and I've never seen it before. Why would you watch it? And then I watched it, a, like, I started it before we did Good Time, so I didn't have it on my list, and then I finished it last night. Oh. Uh, but it's him stuck at space with his baby, and it's a pretty fun movie. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think I read about that, actually. Yeah, I was that, looking at what movie it's, it's another A24 movie with him. I think he has, um, like, four at this point. So I'll go mine real quick. I watched Back to School. Uh, I watched the Belushi documentary on Showtime. It's just so good. I was going to say, haven't you already watched that? Yeah. Friday the 13th, Part 6, Jason Lives. How'd you like that? That actually wasn't bad. Yeah, that was a pretty good Shang-Chi, one. Shang-Chi, Bad Boys 2, Bad Boys 3, Good Time. I watched Oblivion. That was pretty boring. I've never seen that. I've thought about it, but then you kind of made me not think about it anymore. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't good either. Did anybody go? You like your panties. Nope. Then I'm not watching it. And then last night I finished A Star is Born with Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga, and I really liked it. I thought it was really good. That's interesting. Really good. I've, I've heard mixed things about that, which I've been, I haven't watched it yet. Uh, I talked to Mima about it because she watched all of them, mm-hmm. and she said that was the second best one. She said... Oh, really? That's kind of surprising. She said the one with Barbara Streisand is horrible. Oh, really? Which would have been the next one I watched because it was like the new second newest one. So are you going to watch that one still? I don't know. She, she might have talked me out of it. I, th- I think if you're going to... I think you should watch them all and report back on the podcast and let us know. Mm, only if you watch the last one that <laughs> I just watched. I have to watch the new one? Yeah. Um, but I, I, you know, it was because I wanted to see Bradley Cooper again. I've watched quite a few movies with him. You were just like a watching him in movies this year as a raccoon. You want to see him normal? Oh, Bradley Pooper. Well, it's funny because <laughs> I watched all three. <laughs> hang- that's Hess. That's Hess's porn version of Bradley Cooper. He, yeah. he he makes every one of Bradley Cooper's movies. Says the guy who just went poop. <laughs> and he's Bradley Pooper. I love Bradley Cooper. Well, I watched all three Hangovers. I watched uh, Wedding Crashers, Guardians One, Two. Well, Avengers. and I was look, so I was looking. So what? I was like thinking, oh, I could watch American Sniper or something like that. So and, Limitless so then, is good. So then you can cry at the end. I've never seen Limitless. It's good. 
Um, Drum doesn't know what that is, so. I was going to say, that sounds familiar, but I don't know what that is. told you. Isn't that a TV show now? Yeah, it's based on from the movie. Oh, okay. Um, But so I was going through his list, and I was like, oh, I could watch. You know, I just see what else he's in. I was thinking, what's the one he he did with uh, Robert De Niro? He dances with Jennifer Lawrence. Oh, uh, yeah, no, that, one's, that one's okay. The Yeah, I mean, I was just looking at uh, movies that he's in, and then I was like, oh, fuck, I forgot he's in Guardians. Like, yeah. You know, if you look at his upcoming projects, there's two Guard- there's Guardians 3 and then that holiday. Yeah, holiday special. Yeah. Uh, so what did you guys think about it? You guys, this is your first time both watching it, right? Yeah, I thought it was shitty. Really? <laughs> no, I, <liked laughs> I was going to say, all this time you've held that in? What did you <laughs> think about it, Hess? Uh, I, thought it was, uh, I thought it was good. I feel like it had the potential to be even better. Um, like it, I don't know. Like it's just weird. Like I was, I like I, I, I texted you. Obviously, Jerome. Yeah. I don't know if you told Nick, but like I didn't, I didn't read the like description of this. Like I literally just put it on fucking Netflix and I hit start. So I, I didn't know what to expect. Uh, definitely didn't think it was gonna be like this. But um, I don't know. I guess ultimately in the end, I just kind of felt like he was always gonna get caught. And yeah, it kind of, it kind of seems like how the <laughs> how the fuck do you get out of this? It, no way. I, I remember we talked about Uncut Gems as mm-hmm. you, we picked this. And because of this, when we were watching Uncut Gems the whole time, I was like, he's going to die at the end. Like, I didn't know why everybody was... Well, so, what if he hasn't seen it? Have you, he's seen it. He talked about it on here, oh, right? okay. I've seen it. Um, uh, it reminded me of that, because, like, he it's just... Same people, yeah. Yeah, he just doesn't... I, that reminds I should... Uh, I, I tweeted out uh, if anybody had any comments or questions or concerns mm. or wieners in their butts. Well, because it's just, he... As good as he was as an actor in this movie, mm-hmm. he wasn't doing anything right. Like, yeah, I mean, and I mean, he had no redeeming qualities really, except that he was cool. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's he's kind of he's kind of an asshole, kinda. But literally that, everything yeah, he did to everybody was like just for he him. Threw that's like that's like the f- everybody under the bus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, except that dog. But so I don't know why it's not letting me look it up on see on Plika. It's not letting me see on my account. Okay. Uh, but uh, William P. Jackson commented again, and he said he loved this movie. He never saw this or Uncut Gems. So now he wants to go check out Uncut Gems. So, uh, so we, we need a little profit from Netflix. Uncut Gems is really good. So I was disappointed. I mean, I, I liked it, but I was disappointed. But Uncut let me Gems. finish. Mm-hmm. They hyped it up way too much. Yeah, if it wasn't for the hype, I think I would have liked it a lot more. Yeah. I mean, because I mean, I, I, going into it, I was like, this is going to be the best movie I've ever seen. Yeah. And, and, it was, and then it was like, oh, it was good. It but, was really good, but calm down. Yeah, totally. I, I personally, I think this is better than Uncut Gems. Uh, I like I like this one more, but it could also be like you know the story of like what you, I I don't know. You know? I, they're very, I could I liked them about the same to be honest with you. Oh really? Yeah, I mean I thought they were both pretty good. Mm-hmm. I didn't think either one was like superb. I I really like the way they're both shot. Like especially in this movie, they do a lot of the shots where like the cars going in and the camera zooming in from like forty seven miles away, and it's just following it down the street. There's a lot of stuff that I really like how they filmed the, it. The coolest part about this was. Before I saw Tenant, I had never seen a movie with Robert Pan- Pattinson. Uh, yeah, because because of this and movies like this that he does, that's why when Tenant was coming out, I didn't really know much about John David Washington other than like we just kind of liked him. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I was like, I want to see because Robert Pattinson's in it, and so, now he's gonna be Batman and all yeah. that. Yeah, it does make me excited for Batman too. Mm-hmm. Um, but I so I wanted to see him in Tenant, and then so I watching this, I kind of didn't know what to expect and. He was fucking fantastic in this. Yeah, he's yeah. he's great in this. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, it it basically oh, fuck. changed my opinion on him. I didn't really have a bad opinion on him. I just, just know him as the guy from really Twilight. Have, you just didn't really have one, you know? Yeah, I was like, oh, he's in Twilight, and now he's doing like these other movies. I don't. Yeah, really know. that's what I really like about his career. He did Twilight and those big movies, and then he did a bunch of tiny movies to kind of be like, no, 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 I'm a good actor. And then now he's going back into Batman and all that. Yeah. No, I mean, he sold me. For the last two. Um, so I, I just wrote down like my generic notes like I usually did. Uh, it opened up, well, well there's a little bit more in the opening, but uh, you got that bank heist with him and his brother, and they got those masks on. They're passing notes to the bank teller and all that. Yeah. I like that. Tim Taylor laughed at the part when he's like, what are you thinking about to the, to the brother who's his partner in the mm-hmm. heist? And he goes, nothing. <laughs> You're like, oh, that's cool. My partner has nothing on his mind. Well, that was his first mistake. He shouldn't have brought his brother. Yeah, and then yeah, at the at the end, not. when he starts panicking, he's like, "I gotta get this off! I gotta get this off!" And he's like, "Hold on, let's just get around the corner." Yeah, that was one thing. He did have good plans with that. It's just if he had a different partner, he would have completely got away with this, don't you think? No, because the money was fucking. Rich. Well, I guess other than the, uh, it, it, he, they could clean that up, and you know, they kind of got away from that too. 
And then oh. the cops only followed them because the brother. They ran certainly too. wouldn't open the bag in the fucking cab. No. Yeah, yeah. Is there any way to get around that? I don't think so. That's what happens. That's why you don't make them go to the back. Yeah. yeah I, th- I was going to say, if, if they wouldn't have wanted more money. Then That's true. If they weren't so... How, did, did either of you catch how much they would have had if they didn't go to the back? How much money? I don't know if they said or said. showed I don't anything. think they said, but it wasn't a lot. Didn't they want a specific amount? I think they wanted 65000 Yeah, I, was gonna say, I believe so, yeah. Um, so then I got his brother goes to jail, which that scene too. So when they filmed that... That was real police officers they hired to chase them through a, re- a real mall during a real time period and all this stuff. And I guess there was some pedestrians at the mall that tried to stop the police officers from catching them. Really? Yeah. While they were filming people like, no, no, no like trying to help them get away. That's wow. funny. Hey, um, I, I guess, why, what, did, did it ever say why they wanted the money? Hmm. You know, I've never thought about well, that. The, other than, other the than, brother did. The like, brother said they were going to get a... Uh, cabin in the woods. Oh, yeah, I was, right. I was gonna say other than right. ju- other than to just go away, yeah. I but can't like think of any reason. Sixty-five thousand, like that ain't shit. I don't. Yeah, sixty. Like I said, sixty-five thousand ain't gonna buy you shit. Depending on where you get your cabin. Yeah, I see. I see. My, I imagine like a shitty little cabin in the woods, but I guess they probably wanted a nice one. Well, if you're gonna rob a bank, you yeah. want a nice cabin. Yeah, I guess so. I guess you're right. You got a point yeah, there. That's what I mean. Like you're robbing a bank, you're gonna get a federal crime, a federal federal felony if you get caught. Why not go big, you know? Like, give me the whole fucking ball. Yeah. Um, like, who's a better to, bank to robber? In the payday. Who's a better bank robber, George Clooney or Robert Pattinson? I feel like George Clooney was better. Uh, well, George, and they both, they both end up in jail. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I would like to see a movie where these two characters pair up. Let's do an out of sight oh. and uh, good time oh, sequel go. crossover. That's our sequel. I forgot we get to make a sequel. Out of time? Out of, <laughs> yeah, you call that out of or time. Good sight? Good, uh, good sight. Good sight probably sells better. So his brother goes to jail. He gets arrested and all that. Yeah, he's trying to change the TV in prison, and people really don't like that. Yeah, so then Jesus he, he, Christ. He ends up getting fucked up and sent to the hospital. So then there's a heist, another heist in the hospital to get his brother out, and it ends up being the wrong guy. Did either one of you yeah. just see that coming? Where was no. the wrong guy? No, absolutely. No, it, it, isn't that, like, it's like 45 minutes later, the guy wakes up in the house as he's trying to fuck a young girl. In, fa- in fact. Yeah, he starts making out with that girl, and then um, when he goes, this is not my brother, and I was like, w- where's he going with this shit? Like, what's his brother's going to lose his mind? And then I realized, oh my god, it's not his brother. <laughs> yeah. And then he starts kind of fighting the guy, and he's like, kill the fuck out, and the guy's like, where am I? Yeah. What I learned at about first, that guy, oh, what were you going to say? I would say, at first I thought it was Adam Driver. Oh, that would have been cool. I would have liked that. I feel like Adam Driver would be his ass. <laughs> that tu- now, it tu- now it turns into another heist movie. It's that one with him and Channing Tatum and all that. I've never seen that. Uh, I was pretty disappointed in that. I gotta be Lucky... honest. Lucky Strike. Luck. It's Lucky something. It's Lucky like Slevin. No, no Lucky that's a different movie. That's a good movie. Uh, it's Lucky Louie. No, I don't know. It's Lucky something. Mm. Um, Lucky Star. But but that guy, he was a real ex-con, and his story he tells about like you know. Uh, that leads all the way to like they're making the acid to being in the taxi. The guy freaking out, jumping out. It's mm-hmm. a true story, I guess, from him. Oh, really? Yeah, or like multiple stories. That he's they an actor that, now. They then. piece together, right? I believe so. Yeah, because he's in other movies. Yeah, and they they used his stories. I guess I don't know if it's that those are all one story or the piece together, but those are true from him. So I guess. The, was the moral of his story to not jump out of the car? Because he was fucked up. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Or at least jump. He could have jumped out better. He jumped out head first. Who jumps out of a moving car head first to the floor? Oh, well, let's be fair. Jumping head first was kind of a thing with him. <laughs> I guess that's true. Oh, full circle. Yeah. Comes back around and he kills himself. Okay, guy, wouldn't that yeah. just, wouldn't they be hor- just the feeling the second you're like just falling back, you're like, oh, I'm, I'm splattered. You know what I thought as he's falling down? This guy's a fucking <laughs> idiot. I believe I can uh, I mean, he did, he did say he was not going back. So. It's true, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just spilled all over me. Fucking, you'd think that SOS pad would soak that shit up. There we go. I think, did I get it all? Did you just wipe it off your covers? Yeah, I'll have to clean that later, but I needed something <laughs> to wipe it <laughs> off. Who are you kidding? Oh, it's getting hot in here. I was like, you're not, not going to go wash this <laughs> No, yeah, shit. I probably won't clean it. You know? I'm such a fuck ass. Uh, I'll just spray some Febreze on it and call it good. <laughs> Works for me. Uh, what would you guys think about him? You know, b- before he finds out his brother's not his brother, he's kissing that little girl. So he, yeah. he, he is doing it to cover up the news, I guess. Because he's going to do anything to get out of these situations. That's yeah. what the yeah. whole movie was. Adam Sandler never did. Def- well, I guess he did cheat on his wife. and then um, The pace of this movie was, was 
fast as hell and I, yeah. I really liked it it was yeah. like it like doesn't it like stops for like a second when he's like dyeing his hair or something and like that's it that was crazy she's like did you dye your hair <laughs> and he's like, i'm a weirdo <laughs> she's like, couldn't argue with that i hope it's not the one from the bottom which it was yeah. did she ever say why it should be that is it just because no. she wanted it later or? yeah probably i, I, I feel like i was gonna dye my pubes with that but now you can seize it for your head i guess and you know he he let her get arrested yeah but she could have easily got out of it yeah, she was pretty stupid at the end there. Yeah. She was, like, walking along the carnival. Oh, I don't, what did they arrest her for? Standing there? Uh, yeah, just not a, not a, not a, not complying with police because they kept asking her for ID. Oh, I like when he's yelling at her for the key. Like, right after all that shit with his brother and he's yelling at her for the keys. Like, will you go get the keys? Just, like, freaking out on her oh, in the house. He, that's when he's, like, kind of being an asshole to her, too. At moments after he was just trying to hook up with her. Yeah. But, I mean, but I mean like, uh, it, it, like, throughout the whole movie, like, obviously... His luck ran out, but I mean, the entire movie he had the best luck. Oh yeah, out of like, that's out of anyone. It but, was literally like when you know they they he got out of the hospital. They get in the thing, and then the the bus driver's like, "I only had three stops. I don't have four. And he's like, "Oh, blah blah blah." He got out of that, and then he went and knocked on the person's door that where they dropped off the third person was. And they allowed him to come in and use the phone, and I'm just like, "See, do you think that's luck?" Yeah, you know, well, I say that, that's, that's part of it. I feel like that like they get you through the movie thinking. Oh, he might get away with this. Yeah, well, because he, he's, he's just gone he away was, with everything. He was quick on his feet. Yeah, that's where that's where him and uh, not John Travolta, George Clooney would. Uh, <laughs> no, that wasn't. That, I don't get them confused. That was just a slip up in my head. Okay, um, Jake. Hey, uh, what's interesting is, did you guys know that that the so his brother is played by one of the Zafty brothers. I think it's Benny Zafty. So yeah. one of the directors played the brother in the movie. Yeah. Remember, hey, when hey. I found out about that, it blew him. I was like, wow, this guy's just such a great actor. It, he did. I mean, he did do that well. Mm-hmm. Um, he felt bigger than everybody else too. Like yeah. he felt like he would hurt people on accident. No, he c- kind of felt like he would be like a Lenny in my cement, or like yeah. or like a Hodor or something. Where he's just like, yeah, I think he might be part giant. You thought he was gonna hold the door for people? No, I, no, I thought he might be part giant. Oh, uh, okay. But just in his cock, you know what I'm saying? You wish. <laughs> you gotta try this pole. <laughs> uh, yeah, he fucked up. He fucked up the one guy in prison and then i mean then he just kind of that's true then, then he, he got fucked he, up yeah you gotta know not to change the channel in that situation yeah yeah but he doesn't know that yeah he i i, I bet he knows I, it now i, I bet I he doesn't know if he was uh, autistic or mentally handicapped or what but yeah he, i he, wish he, we did get i mean it's good because the movie just kind of throws you in but i wish we got a little bit of backstory on them you know what that i mean would been cool like I, I wish we could just know more about them why they're in this situation and like why is he? Yeah, because I mean, originally he took them out from that psychologist in the beginning. Yeah, and then it ends with them going back there with the kids. Yeah. Um, I really I like when he has so Barbara Pattinson climbs over the fence to get into the carnival, mm-hmm. and the guy can't climb the fence because he hurts. So he has to climb back over and just fucking throws the guy over. I thought so. Here's what I thought was going to happen: they were going to find the stuff, and mm-hmm. then he was going to climb over the fence and then just leave the guy there. Uh, yeah, I thought that originally too. Or I thought I was like, is he going to fucking kill this guy? I didn't think he was going to beat up the fucking guy from... I'm the captain now. Yeah. Yeah. And then I felt so bad for that guy. He's just doing his job. He goes in there and chases him down. He gets beat up. He cared way too much. Yeah. Acid poured down his throat. So then he's waking up and just spewing nonsense to the cops. Like, that guy's... And then I didn't... I never realized this when I watched it. So they go into his apartment after that, Yeah. I never realized that. And he's a nice place. For a little carnival security guard? What, maybe, um, that, maybe that's why he cared so much. I guess he he, he's like, this job pays well. Yeah. <laughs> was that the Captain Phillips guy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which the first time watching this, I had no clue who he was. But I, then when you brought him up on IMDb, I was like, oh, wow. Yeah, I, well, I saw was him it? and I was like, God, this guy looks familiar. And then I looked him up and yeah. I was like, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. As soon as I saw the title, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but so then the cops show up. He dresses up as a security guy. That's what I mean. He was quick on his feet. Like, yeah. You know, like he was really quick. He got in that suit before they even got in there. Too bad he's not They're still just fast, because then he could have ran away from the police at the end. Yeah, it's true. Uh, and then uh, the last thing I got is that when he gets arrested at the end after the guy kills himself by accident, you pointed out that he looks a little like Charles Manson when he gets arrested. Yeah, totally. I thought I was like, "Fuck!" If they do a biopic about him, he could totally play him. Yeah, unfortunately, they've done way too many of those, so it probably wouldn't even do well. No one would want it. No, but, but it, I think it, he would do well. It would have to do. It would have to be different and like would, buy someone who good. Would, who would have to make it? That would be like like what? What if the guy that made what's the guy that made seven? 
Like what Rob if he? Be, oh, David Finchner. Yeah, what if he made like a Charles Manson movie and Cast Robert Pattinson in it? I would go see it opening night. Yeah, I bet that'd be really good. Yeah, that's our sequel. <laughs> <laughs> he turns into Charlie Manson. Uh, but now it's time for the sequel. We have to make good time two electric boogaloo. <laughs> I always <laughs> almost say the two. Does uh, part. Danny DeVito have to be in it? We can put him in it if we want. Okay. He could be like, oh, he could be their dad. So he'd be the and he's just at home with Charlie. <laughs> he'd be the penguin. He's gonna be in Batman. Um, but yeah, you guys are gonna make the sequel? Should we? Should we cross over? Is that a sight? I mean, that'd be cool. So George, so oh, he gets to prison. You don't know this, but. Right after that library scene, right after that scene where George Clooney is in there talking to John, Don, oh my God, I said John Cheadle, <laughs> Don Cheadle, and he said, you fall in some hard like my dick, he walks out of that room and Robert Pattinson's just walking in from getting arrested in this movie. I mean, that'd be kind of cool. And then, uh, Would it be directed by the Safety brothers or by uh, Steven Soderbergh? Both. They directed, toge- oh, really? they directed together. Three directors on this movie. Uh, so then what are they, so then the, You'd have to, so they meet here, and then George Clooney would have to get him after the events of Out of Sight now, after this, at this point. So how long did he go to jail for? I'm assuming probably a while. But let's, let's just say it's like 10 years later. Okay. So 10 See, years. I feel like they're, I mean, I, I guess it would make sense, but yeah. like, to me, I just think they're total opposites. Clooney and Pattinson. Like, oh. Clooney's like calm, collected. And well, yeah, but that, that, like and that, that's why you get the fun. He'd be like. He he and he also he's used to having to deal with his brother, but his brother's not even in this movie. Uh, well, we're just going for the bank robbery stuff, right? Yeah, Alexa. If you get caught robbing a bank, how long are you in prison for? Here's something I found on the web. According to CyclingNews.com, it's not far from robbing a bank, getting caught, and the penalty is just that you may not rob another bank for two years. Oh, okay. Well, it turns what? out, it turns, it turns out you don't even go to jail. You just for two more years, you're not allowed to rob banks. <laughs> what is she smoking crack? What the fuck kind of answer is that? Yeah, I don't think that's uh, right. Uh, yeah, I, I got a feeling she's lying to us. You think? Do you have any lawyers watching the show? If so, comment below, please. <laughs> yeah. yeah, tell us what what Alexa's talking about. Uh, so we'll just we'll just throw out there. Ten years later, he gets out of prison. What are the, where Could, where are they heisting? What are they doing? It's got to be one oh. big score. If you really want, you could bring in like Fast, the Fast and Furious, and bring that. And oh, they're, they're robbing Vin Diesel. You don't or, know this till the end of the movie. They're robbing wait, Vin Diesel. Or you could do one better, and they could be robbing Nicolas Cage from Gone in sixty seconds. Oh shit! Okay, so they they go Ooh. and they're robbing Nicolas. That's a good movie. <clears throat> Who wouldn't go see that? Well, I mean, it was good until you start. And then what do we call it? Do we call it really good sight? Well, now you. Gone and good sight. Gone, gone, gone and good faster sight. Faster than good sight. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Let's just throw every movie in there. We'll just have a, like a fucking. It'll be like. And then yeah. Guardians of the Gas. He shows up. And Bradley Cooper's hey, there. We got to get John David Washington in there. Oh, it's true. No, he, needs, he needs a rest. He shows up at the end, and it's his character from Tenet, and he gets confused <laughs> with our bad sense. No, but I like that sequel. That's a that's a fun little sequel. It would be fun to see them. Like how they like gonna, both how, on their feet, like like George Clooney, like you said, would be like he would figure it out and be nice, and then he would try to take advantage of. The well, George Clooney would also be like trying to fuck every single girl along the way. He only tried to fuck Jennifer Lopez. Well, they all look like Jennifer. Lo- oh, but Jennifer Lopez would have to reprise her role because she helps him at the end. And Samuel Samuel, Samuel, Jackson. Samuel Jackson's in this too, and we yeah. give we give him a lot. He says "motherfucker" all the time. That's almost maybe, his only line. Maybe they could escape from jail, and that would be your beginning. So you could jerk off. Okay. All three of them uh, escape together. And I then like. They decide oh yeah, because the out of sight ends with them about to escape from jail, like planning that yeah. in the car. So they just they get in in there with Robert Pattinson. They mm. escape. They decide to rob something. Nicholas Cage. Really Nicholas Cage. It. Sorry. Yeah. Nicholas fucking Cage. Jesus Christ. I don't know how you rob Nicholas Cage. The motherfucker doesn't have any money. I don't know how you forget that. You're such a fuck ass. You're like robbing for all his uh, millions that he owes? No, all his millions he's making on... Uh, on Pig? Making Willy's Wonderland and whatnot. Oh. Uh, I saw weirdly in the trivia for that movie, it was, like, it was originally going to be called Wally's Wonderland, but then it was changed to Willy. And I was like, why? What's the fucking difference? Oh, between Wally and Willy? One's a dick. Oh, uh, yeah. they like peepees. Oh. You like your panties. It's true. Was that Hess <laughs> or, or <coughs> Bill Paxton? Bill Paxton. No, you're right. 
Sorry. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> that, was that wasn't supposed to be hit. You are a retard. Mm. Uh, so any last things about good time? My little fuck faces? I don't think so. No, but I, I really liked it. I, I liked him more than I liked the movie. But I liked. I can see that a little bit because it's kind of fun watching him. But I did like the movie a lot. Mm -hmm. But he was just really good in it. Yeah, no, I I agree. That's why I started looking like I wanted to watch that High Life movie, and I want to watch the the Rover that I put on here. Yeah, I I like I like watching his. Well, I'm good. Whatever movie wins, I'm Uh, happy. Well, speaking of that, even if it is Water for Elephants, let me (laughs) uh, refresh the YouTube page. All right. Well, in the lead on YouTube. Uh, which is 33 minutes ago, so that means the other one is done. Uh, Water for Elephants has one on YouTube. Oh, okay. Just one vote or one? Oh, sorry. It's 50 per- Water for Elephants is 50%. The Rover's 33%, and the Lighthouse is 17%, with six votes total. Okay, so it has three. You should just say how many votes it has. That'd be easier. I wish it just told me. Oh, it doesn't tell you. No, it just says six uh, votes and says the percentage. Yeah, it just gives a percentage. Yeah. Well, that's three, so... Uh, we want to make Jerome do any math. Uh, okay, this would be interesting. We got twelve votes on YouTube. You mean Twitter? Sorry, yeah, on Twitter. Uh, forty-two percent for the Rover, forty-one percent for Water for Elephants, and seventeen percent for Lighthouse. I believe Water for Elephants wins. It basically, they tied. Yeah, they're really close in both. Thirty-three percent to fifty on YouTube, and forty-one to forty-two on uh, Twitter. So we are watching. Water for elephants. Uh, I know, no, I know, no, I honestly know nothing about it. Since Abby picked it, does that mean we're gonna have a special guest, Abby, on the next podcast? Yeah, I think I think she should be on yeah, the next podcast. Yeah, she has to show if up. If we don't like it, we can blame her. She has to show up, or you can go suck a fuck. And that's to you, Abby. Who's in it? Uh, Robert Pattinson. Robert Pattinson and Reese Witherspoon. Reese Witherspoon. That's that's all I know. Are there elephants I don't know in it? Else. Do you guys? I, I I honestly don't know. She just said. You should pick this. I've always wanted to watch it. Do you want to know the description for it? I do not. You don't? Okay. I'm going to read it for myself real quick. Uh, I'll give you uh, what does Jerome Romy Rome think of the description. What would Jerome Romy Romy Rome think? It sounds like a Hess movie. Yeah. I was afraid of that. Just reading the description. But that's not a bad thing. No, that's fine. They're, that's fun usually. But it, so- it sounds like a Hess movie. I don't know what that means, but okay. <laughs> Hess is over there. <laughs> <laughs> No, it sounds like like a, like a Titanic or uh, Fifty First Dates oh. or something like that. But it looks fun. It looks it looks interesting. Uh, Christopher Waltz is in it. Not Christopher Walken. Yeah. Mm. Oh, uh, Christoph Waltz. Nice. Yeah. We, let's just go, let's, like let's, let's watch Django Unchained again. We can. We could. We could do it. Uh, and we can watch Hateful Eight. I love it. There's, I like it. Let's do it. There's two. There's two people for Hateful Eight then. Oh, it's true. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. If we if I have to, if we watch if we pick Hateful Eight, I'm not gonna watch the movie since I just watched it. I'm gonna watch the episodes. Yeah, that so make so like no, just so I get the extended movie and then you guys can watch the movie and I'll bring the extra scenes to uh, the podcast. Like sure, tell tell you guys sure. tell you guys what you missed in between scenes. Okay. So that's what, if that that's if that gets picked uh, obviously next week. Uh, all right. Yeah, you guys have any last things before I stick? Both my fingers in your guys' rectums and spin you around like lollipops. Do lollipops spin around? If you get those special ones, you put them in like a little canister thing and do, 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 do. They spin around. What kind of fucking lollipops are you buying? I don't know. What kind of spin around? Hmm. <laughs> uh, does anybody have a story they'd like to tell before we wrap up? Uh, no. I don't have a story. Do you have a story? No, I don't think show. I have a story. Only, only things I have a, for a story only, at the end of the podcast. Only th- cool, usually we end, you either have a cold open good story or an end story. Mm-hmm. The only things that's happened to me this week is there was a shootout across the street, and then the lady of fries tried to fight me, and that was it. You wanted to fight her? Yeah, but she didn't, she started a fucking. That bitch. was very unlike you. She was a fucking little bitch. Usually you're like. It was like, a, yeah, but it was, it was like the root beer guy. Did oh a, yeah, you're still mad at him. That was ten years rooster ago. Rooster guy. Root beer. Root, root beer. I got root beer oh, at Wunka one time, and he was like, "Can I see your ID?" And I was like, "For root beer?" And he was like, "Oh, my bad." That's root beer, baby. Root beer. That's not even. <laughs> he wouldn't even let you carry it. No, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. like, Nick has to carry it. 
And I'm like, I'm not carrying fucking and he somehow here. he knew your name, and I thought the whole thing was orchestrated. Yeah, he didn't know my name. I remember mean, like, why? Yeah, he, he wanted to fucking get, the guy fucking spites me like that and fucking, like, stabs his knife in my back at Winco. And then this guy wants to give him a ride home. We, we were driving down 7th Avenue, and he was walking home. I was like, hey, should we pick that guy up? He's like, why would we pick that guy up? I'm like, that's your buddy from Winco. And he's like, oh, I fucking hate that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I do, uh, did, have, uh, did have my fantasy football draft. How'd that go? Did you, did you get good, good picks? Uh, I believe so. When you, were, when you were done to celebrate, did you dance to... I knew it. Everybody, yeah. when they get good picks in fantasy football, they listen to Space Jam. And that's a freaking yeah. fact. Hmm. Are you, are you, you, you did a draft this year, no? Drew? Yeah. Or no, oh, okay. Nick, not Jerome. <laughs> I yeah, should. I did one last week. Oh, I should, we should have yeah. done a plicket draft, and we could have got people involved. I put a... Uh, my team name is Kyler's Comerica. Just my my team. I haven't changed my name in like three three years. It's still the same shit. AB's feet. So remember when he was having issues with feet? I named my team after his feet. Mm. Hard knocks was I going were, going good. I, good. I, I, I vaguely remember this. What kind of problems was he having with his feet? They were fucking. This, Google uh, Antonio Brown's feet. Oh, what is it like? Bobby, yeah. Bobby Lee's. He's got like fungus or something. Okay, Antonio. Bobby Beans. Ant- Antonio Brown? Antonio Brown. Yeah. Okay. His feet. Oh, this is going to be gross. Oh, what is this? Oh, what the? F- I don't want to <laughs> see this. Oh, my God. This is horrible. Yeah, so my team's name AB f- AB's feet, but Ugh. Uh, no one even remembers what it is now. That's so disgusting. But I'm too lazy to change it again. All right, I'm well, just going to get a, a desk and sit it up outside and start doing a podcast outside. Well, that'd be nice. Also, a, I mean, a little bird lands on his shoulder and he fucking feeds the bird while we're doing a podcast. Well, I guess we aren't done, huh? I didn't even think about that. <laughs> He's not like smoking. <laughs> the fuck? Well, to be fair, I was just, I was just about to wrap up. We have Puyka's picks. <laughs> there, there, there's your uh, cold <laughs> outro. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, subscribe, comment down below if you want Hess to start doing the podcast outside so he could feed birds off his shoulder and shit. And smoke cigarettes. Yeah, and maybe you know, every once in a while he can... I want you to clean your vagina. And we'll watch them live. Wow. (laughs) All right. See you next week, babies. Make sure you watch Water for Elephants.